Hi everybody, welcome to the Best Soy Latte and me. As you can see, um, I am already in my pajamas. And I'm just really proud to say that this pajama has Nick Carter on it. <laughs> I know it's a little bit embarrassing, but I just love him. I love him. I really think that one day we're going to get married and have beautiful babies together. But that aside, <laughs> um, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, this video is just going to be, I'm going to try to make it a quick one, but I doubt it as usual. Um, I just got home, I came, today was a good day, um, I went out with my mom, and we did a couple errands, like half day till one o'clock, came home, then I went out again, um, hung out with a couple of my college friends, um, if ever they see this, hi Hazel, um, I call her, she's my favorite person in the world, I call her favorite, and I also hung out with one of my, well, one of my, I guess my closest guy friends, um, my glasses are misting, that's how hot it is, um, his name is Adrian Aids. Hi, AIDS. I love you guys. Anyway, um, thank you for tonight, uh, for today. And what was I saying? Tonight was good. All right, this video is just going to be, I'm just going to start pulling stuff out because this is going to be an updated uh, what's in my makeup bag video. Um, but um, this is more of like what's in my makeup bag that I brought today. And there are two makeup bags because I didn't really, I couldn't like put together anything concise anymore because I wanted to try out so many things, so little time. So I'm just going to start pulling things out and showing you guys what I bought, uh, what I brought with me. Um, this is my normal makeup case. It's the Celine one. Um, it's the zebra one with the red trimming on it, and I really love it. I love animal print. So this is usually what I bring with me, but today I brought like two things. But anyway, uh, normally what's inside, I'm just going to pull stuff out. Uh, my MAC Studio Fix, and I almost hit pan on this. Well, I hit pan as you can see but I love this one I just wore this today I didn't put any foundation on because this is like foundation and powder at the same time so I am an NC35 if anyone is wondering so I got that I'll put things down I bought my I brought my elf contouring blush and bronzing powder in blush and bronze um, I haven't used this in a while because this bronzer really looks like dirt on my um, skin so if I'm not very careful with it, it looks like I just got punched in the face. So it's it's um, a little bit hard to blend in, but, you know, I still like using it sometimes. And this blush is one of my favorites. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the blush. All right, and then I have that. I'm just randomly bringing stuff out. This is my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Um, the powder is loose, so I'm not going to show you anymore. But this one, I think, is in light. And then um, my concealer, MAC Studio Fix Concealer. This is the, my holy grail concealer. I love this. Um, this one takes away all the blemishes. Gosh darn it, my glasses are really misting. And if I take them out and talk to you guys, I won't be able to see anything. But all right, oh, I'm sweating like crazy. I can't turn on the fan because it makes that really ugly, noisy sound. All right, what else is in here? Um, I also use this. This is one tip. Um, I'm going to do a video on contouring, I guess. Um, this is one that I use for contouring. I've, I've said this, I think, a couple of times. This one is an e.l.f. blush, or no, not blush, uh, face powder in honey. And this is a really dark color, and I use this to contour because it's a powder, and it's not shiny. There's no sparkles in it, so I like that. Um, what else do I have in here? I have my Holy Grail um, Nose Shaper. This is the Everbalena one. But it's actually foundation, so again, I use the dark one for the bridge of my nose and the white one, lighter one, down the middle so it makes me look like I'm not bango. You guys know what bango is because most, most of my subscribers are Filipinos. But just in case you don't know what bango is, bango is this one. Um, it's a Filipino term for somebody who has a flat nose like that. So you sculpt your nose so you're not bango. So it's matangos, which is, I don't know, maybe it's Spanish? Pongo and Matangos, I'm guessing it's Spanish. What else do I have in here? I have a Showell Makeup Blusher in number three, which is just, it reminded me of Sex Appeal from NARS, maybe not, but it's like a sheer um, pink powdery color, which is very powdery. Um, it just gives it a little bit of sheen, but not too much of the color, but it's still very pretty, like a really night nice um, glow to your skin so I use that sometimes to neutralize what I have on and then I have my um, Shuamura um, eyelash curler which I can put aside now 
So I'm just, I'm practically packing them away as I talk to you. So I have that. And then as goes with that is my Revlon um, Lash Fantasy, which I'm almost out of. So I think I'm going to start using another one, maybe um, CoverGirl, because uh, the Lash Blast one, the orange one, I haven't tried that yet. I have my um, concealer in Apricot Beige by e.l.f. Just looks like this, and I use this for my under eyes really pretty and then I also have I use this today as my highlight the elf all over color stick and golden peach I love this this is my favorite um, all over um, stick by elf golden peach and then um, for my uh, what do you call this little, little, little uh, eyeshadow I've been using this for like the past whole month or like the end of April plus the start of a uh, start of May this one is the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Walk It On Eggshells, number 38OB. I love this. I love, love, love this one. It's definitely going to go to one of my May favorites, so don't be surprised. And then today, I sort of used this one. This was into it, a brown one, because I didn't want to... Today was sort of a lazy day, so I just didn't want to like look too harsh. I mean, my eyes to be too harsh. So this one is into it. It's a brown one. It's just the twisty top kind. So that's the one I'll show you guys. Right there. Really, really small line. So I got this one. It is in brown, I'm guessing. Oh, it's dark brown. Double E O2. So I'm putting things away as I speak to you guys. And then I also have my Painterly Paint Pot. Um, if I do have an 11 Most Reach for products, this is definitely going to be in it. Painterly. My Holy Grail um, eye primer. So that's that. And then I also have the Shewell Loose Powder. I don't carry this around with me normally, but I forgot to put it on today um, when I was at home, so I quickly had to grab it. Um, I usually put this after I put on the All Over Concealer and Apricot Beige just to give me a really bright under eye. So that's that. That's everything in here. Just a couple of receipts that, you know, I don't need to show you. And then. Um, since I mixed everything, I also brought my Myra Vita Glow Tinted Moisturizer, but I didn't use this today. I just put on my Garnier one, and then I put on my uh, MAC Mineralized, um, no, MAC Studio Fix powder. So I didn't have to use this, but I usually use this when I don't want to put on foundation. I am in the color beige, just in case anyone was wondering. This one has sparkles in it. So be careful, be wary about it. Um, I have my contact solution. I don't know why I have that there. Um, I have my e.l.f. cream liner in black. It looks really gross. Be prepared. One, two, three. It's really gross, man. I love this one. Um, and then I also brought my base up color in lilac. I think this one is in, yep, lilac. So it's practically the same color as my nails. And I'm um, putting that away. My Sephora bronzer, which I promised myself that I'm not going to bring around because I don't want it to break. But it just looks like that. Really smells good. It smells like the sea. And it has a really big mirror. That's why I really like it. Put that away later. Um, Fanny Serrano one. Because I used this in the morning. And then when I went out with my friends, I used the Mac Studio Fix one. So I used this as well today. Um, I also brought my um, Estee Lauder color intensity microfine eyeshadow quad um it broke already but it has these four colors um again sand dollar number 12 16 chocolate 06 selection from storm duo and number 21 fog because this one has a matte color and the walking on eggshells are all like shimmers so if i wanted to neutralize the color i usually just get a small palette um i also use the rich ground fluid or uh, matte fluid line um, I'm probably going to get groundwork pretty soon because I use the black one a lot. I don't know. And a lot of people have reviewed it as awesome. And then I brought my Fanny Serrano eyeliner brush. Put that away. Brought my blending brush from e.l.f. Brought my eyebrow and brow, you know, fixer brush. I don't know, eyebrow brush from Marionaud. And this one I haven't showed you guys yet, so um, I'm probably just going to show it in a... Maybe I'll show the rest later. But this is for my friend. She came back from um, Dubai, 
and she got this from Debenhams. It's just a little cute pouch like this. I, I haven't taken out the tag yet, but it's from Debenhams. Yep, and then it's like this really, really cute pouch, and then it's like buttoned up here, and then you can put stuff over here on this side, and then, you know, whatever makeup you want to put, and then over here, these are amazing. They're brushes. Really pretty. I haven't checked out the Debenhams that we had, um, so I'm, I'm going to check that out. If ever you guys know if they do carry this, um, I don't know how much it is, but the next time that I go out, and I'll probably check Debenhams, and these are so soft. These are the softest brushes ever. And it has a powder brush, just really small. It's like a really travel set one. An angled blush brush or bronzer brush. Um, a flat top, well not flat top, a um, eyeshadow brush, just a flat one. It has a lip brush. Lip brush. It has the um, eyebrow thing, you know, for fixing and grooming your eyebrows. It has the angled um, eyeshadow brush. Very complete. Um, and it has the small um, eyeliner brush or for the eyebrows as well. But I use this for my, um, what do you call this, eyeliner instead because it's too soft to for my um, eyebrows. Like it doesn't really form very nicely. But that's the one that I brought and that's the one that I use. And I'm going to be using this, bringing this with me all the time now. So I love that. And that's it. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot because uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there were no lipsticks. I know I'm talking really fast, but I hope just to like, this is just like a filler of the things to come. I have this pouch with me. I bring a lot of lipsticks usually, a lot of lip products because I love lip products. And I bring this with me. This is from um, Bangkok or maybe it's from Vietnam. I don't know. Probably Vietnam um, or Bangkok. I'm not sure. It's for my dad. Oh, oh, it is from Bangkok. Yeah, he came from Bangkok, and I showed this to you before. And I use it for my lipsticks, so I always have a pink one. This is um, Maybelline's Pink Please. Yep. And then I got a red one, which is Storm. Normal red. Storm. And then I have a... Water Shine from Maybelline. If I want just a really tinted, um, really light tinted pink, I use that. And then I have my Nivea Lip Care and Cherry. I'm almost out of it. I need a new one. This is this is what I use. This is like also in my top 11 most worn products, I guess. I just dab it on like this. I don't even slide it on. I just dab it. It has like a really, really rich color. Just like that. I love this. And then... Um, I have one gloss, which is the e.l.f. and Pink Kiss. Yep. And then last two ones are my Holy Grail Mavi and a nude one, which is my favorite one as well from Singapore in Sangaree number 39. So that's everything that's in this pouch. Um, that's that. That's everything that I brought today. Um, so after this one, I'm just going to do the quick haul. I don't even want to do this haul, but, um, I just wanted to show you guys anyway. Oh, and I also ha forgot, I brought my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Petticoat just for really, really pretty, um, a glow on the apples of my cheeks. If I don't use this, I use the one that I brought from Topshop, which is Butterscotch, which is also fairly good. Oh, <sighs> it's really hot. And I have my shades in here. I don't know why. All right, and then I'm just going to show you... Um, stuff that my friend gave me from Dubai. One is this travel set, which I already showed you, but if ever I did a separate one, this would be the last one that I showed you, because that, that was the highlight of everything. She gave me a uh, Givenchy. Um, it's like a... I think this is the stuff that you get for free, but she didn't want it, so she gave it to me. Um, from the par perfume. So this is like a nail kit. So it has like a nail cutter, and then this one, and... Oops, nail cutter, and a nail file. So it has the logo of Givenchy right over there. thought it was a wallet, but it wasn't. She also gave me samples of Clarins. I think you pronounce it as Clarins. I'm not sure because it's Clarins, but I think it's Clar. I don't know. How do you pronounce that, guys? So it's just a sample of a lot of things like um, day cream, um, daily energizer cream gel, cleansing cream, and like two toners. So just samples. And the last one in here is a um, Versace bag. 
Um, I think this was free also, but it's just a mini makeup bag by Versace. It has the logo over there and the logo over here. I think it's Medusa. I don't know. Like, what is the logo of um, Versace? It really looks like Medusa to me. Um, but then it has, like, studs in the back. And then you open it. It's magnetized. It has a mirror right over there. And it's zipper over here. And inside is a shower gel that she also gave me. It's Crystal Noir. How do you pronounce it? Crystal Noir? I don't know. But, yep, it's just a bath gel. Very musky. Not, it's, it sort of reminds me of, oh, my goodness. One of the bath and body um, smells. Um, what is that? I think, like, black. Black something. Black amethyst. That's the one that reminds me of the smell. Very musky. So that's it. That's everything um, that I wanted to show you guys today. Oh, and one more thing. Like, I'll include this in the fall. And I'm really excited for this because this is my first NARS blush. I'm really excited. And you don't have to ask what color it is. It's orgasm. Because I got the one that everyone says suits me. And, well, a universal kind of blush. And I have it on right now. I know it's not that obvious, but I do. And it's really pretty. It's, like, really flush. But it's almost out. But I'm really happy. I'm just going to show you. You've seen this a thousand, hundred million times. It's 1350 in case you guys were wondering. Um, I was supposed to buy it in Singapore, but it was more expensive. So I didn't. And um, how do I open this? Right there. See? I'm such a noob to, like, NARS blushes. And they say... The NARS blushes are so much better than MAC blushes. So this is the packaging. Very pretty. Um, it's like a velvety texture. Um, it's still very black, but once you start using it, I've seen a couple of my friends' um, blush, and it looks like uh, like fingerprints are on it. It gets dirty easily. So it, ha it says orgasm and NARS right at the bottom. And then it has the big mirror right over there, which I don't want to show you. I don't want to blind you guys. And then it has NARS right over there and that's the color very peachy pinky pretty i love it all right so that's it i hope you guys like this video um if you do want to upload a video um which also has what's in your makeup bag just go ahead and do it i love watching um video responses so i encourage you guys to do that um or like leave me a message and be like go to my channel and watch this you know but I'd appreciate it if you do guys leave it, you do leave it as a video response. So that's it. I hope you guys had a great day. It is now 101 in the morning. So that's all. And I'm really tired and it's really hot. So that's it. I hope you guys like this video. And if you have any other questions, just go ahead and message me. You can reach me. All the details will be on the bottom bar, down bar, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's it. I hope you guys like this video. I will see you guys really soon. Bye. Mwah.